Hey, hello, it's Michael here at The Village Optician and today I would like to talk a little bit about um, essentially a kind of some problems that people can have uh, with varifocals, okay? Now this is one thing that here at The Village Optician we don't shy away from that. Sometimes varifocals can be difficult to get used to, okay? Um, and our job is to let people know that it can be difficult and to help people out as much as possible so that they can actually wear varifocals and get on with them and, and enjoy the benefits of wearing varifocals. Now I myself wear varifocals every day, all day, love them, think they're great, you know, um, but as I say, but there are limitations, which I'll do a, a separate kind of thing about limitations, because there's one real thing I wanted to talk about today. So if you watched our little video about how varifocals work, or you've read some of our literature about how varifocals work, you'll know that they gradually change the power down the lens, any that creates distortion, so distortions are pushed to the sides, depending on how good the design of the lens is and how it deals with that distortion, what's in the lens to, to minimize that distortion. Now, even a very high-end, fantastic design and good quality varifocal will still have distortion. And the main reason for that is uh, it depends on your prescription. Okay, the amount of distortion does depend on your prescription. Now, if you've got a very high prescription or very high reading power, so the change in the lens needs to be more, that will create more distortion. If you've got a very low reading power or a very weak prescription, then you're not going to have as much distortion. Okay, now then, the people that struggle a little bit with varifocals, there's one kind of really main thing I want to talk about today, and, and when people struggle with them, it's kind of um, what we call the swim and sway effect. So because this bit of your vision here, so on my mind it's down here, so this bit of your vision just here, okay, so it's kind of just sort of sitting just below your eye line and it's kind of here, that's the most distorted part of your vision, just there. And as you move, you can get this kind of effect where this happens or this happens kind of thing as you, as you move, okay? Now, it's a bit like if you've ever been running on a treadmill, and then, because what's weird about that is your, your brain knows that you're running and you're moving, but normally when you're running, the world would move past you, and so it, it's a trick in your brain. And so when you stop running on a treadmill, and you get off the treadmill, and you move, and you move forwards, your brain goes, whoa, hold, hold on, and it kind of does this, can do this with the world. It can kind of, you know, make it feel like it's, it's, it's moving weirdly and, and sort of uh, make you feel a bit dizzy sometimes. And so it's kind of a bit like that effect, but as I say, so you get this kind of movement if you move your head around, or this back and forth kind of thing and side to side. Okay, now that's what we call swim and sway, and that can be the biggest problem for when people don't get on with it. Now, there's absolutely no way of knowing who's going to have a problem with that. And the reason for that is it's all down to your brain. It's how your brain deals with these distortions, you know, how it deals with that difference in the power, how it deals with the fact that it's a bit weird and blurred over there. Now, as I said, there's some really good varifocal designs that minimize this kind of swim in the sway effect, you know, and, and minimize the, the distorted areas. Um, so, I mean, the better the varifocal design you go for, the less chance you are you have of this happening. You can be in the best design, though, and your brain will still see it, you know? So, as I say, we don't know who's going to have an issue. We don't know who's going to have a problem. Um, this is something that we explain to everybody, um, for new wearers. In fact, I even explain this to existing wearers um, when they're changing their varifocals because... Um, if they've changed the power and the power is stronger, you go, you, you're going to create more distortion. You can see these effects again, you know. Now, the hard thing is, and it can be a very big ask of people, but the hard thing is we know how to get through that and how to get rid of that, okay? And it's nothing that we have to do to the lens. It's nothing that we have to do to the frame fitting or anything like that because there's a lot of things with varifocals that are literally down to an adjustment in how the frame's fitting, um, maybe you know moving the lens in the frame things all sorts of stuff like that but this unfortunately is basically going cold turkey with it if you want to get on with that varifocal and you're experiencing this um, you just got to put them on and leave them on just leave them on your face now for some people it'll get used to that in a couple of days um, worst case scenario is we normally find two weeks is the sort of magic figure really um, and again we know this from experience um, Unfortunately, I have over 20 years experience doing this and I know for a fact, um, you seem to show my age now, but I know for a fact that this does go away. But I understand it's a big ask. 
because some people they put that on and if you are experiencing this effect it can make you feel a bit nauseous you know I mean it's like if your world's kind of moving and shifting um, but believe me it does work it does go away but you've kind of got as I say you've got to go cold turkey with it you've got to, you've got to sit through it uh, it's no good putting them on for an hour or two in the day taking them off and then doing the same again the next day and the next day and the next day and coming and telling us that oh you know I've had them on every day well yeah but you need that time for your brain to get used to it so literally sticking them on first thing in the morning and leaving them there and your brain will sort that out it really honestly will sort that out okay so that's the main thing I wanted to say um, it's a tricky one it is a real tricky one um, it, you know because because it is a big ask of people to kind of go through that if they are feeling a bit you know this oh, I don't like this um, and that's the one thing where a lot of people really don't they, they get put off by that uh, worst case scenario if you are genuinely like non tolerant to the varifocal like that and you can't get used to it um, then uh, we do have a guarantee we can we can swap you out of that you know uh, we we never leave you with a pair of glasses because we understand that you know the varifocals that we do can be you know they're not the cheapest lenses available and um, they're chosen for their design and their quality um you know so we you know you're not stuck but uh, just bear that in mind it you know um experience shows us that people can get through that but you've got to kind of just as i say go cold turkey with it and stick them on your face and leave them there okay all right so that is the kind of big thing that can happen with varifocals as i say there are limitations to varifocals and i will go through those in another video um you know, uh, because there's some quite little funny little limitations that to, to, to sort of talk about. Um, but we'll go through that. Okay, so as I say, uh, another oh, another little weird problem with varifocal sometimes, or an issue that people have, um, is that for some bizarre reason their brain can't find the reading power. Um, especially if we've checked every, you know, if you've checked everything's lined up, everything's where it should be, you've measured the glasses, everything's there, but for some bizarre reason they can't read. Okay, they just can't find that where the, where to look through. Now, the reason for this, quite a lot of the time, is sometimes the tilt of the frame. If it's if it's sitting too flat away from someone, if it's kind of flattened away, when you look down, the lens you're looking through the wrong bit of the lens. Um, but what's really common is when people are new to their focals, um, and this is people don't realise they do this sometimes. And not everyone does, of course. But you think too much about where to look through naturally to read if i've got a reading card here if i naturally read i'll just sort of i tilt my head a little bit and i'll look through and i can read i can see all that fine i'm just looking down and actually my eyes drop more than my head my head doesn't drop like that my eyes drop my neck tilts by a certain amount of degrees my eyes tilt down by a further amount of degrees um but what you find is because people are thinking about which bit they should look through people are kind of dropping their chins down and trying to look through the top and they can't find the reading because they're not looking through the right bit or people are kind of you know just thinking far too much about where to look now if you just naturally let yourself read it you find it okay so yeah so you know if anyone is having issues with very focals my best advice is to come and sit down and talk to the team you know come and sit down go through them and see if there's anything we can do to help we can coach you about how to use the verifocal where to look through it things like that um, and any changes that might need to be made in the design of the lens you know there's sometimes we can actually nowadays we can just kind of make it just about anything in the verifocal you know so we can design that in certain ways you know if someone's struggling to get to the reading area we can we can redesign the lens and move the reading area further up for you you know if someone has a bad neck and they can't kind of you know keep the head in a certain position we can design that in so there's a lot we can do so as I say my best advice if you are having any issues with very focus is go and talk to your team that dispensed it okay anyway I hope that helps you um, as I say we're always upfront about what can happen and, and if you if we are we tend to find more people get on with them because people know what to expect okay anyway there you go hope that helps bye bye